Are you looking to preview data from LADS DAC before downloading? View Data, a visual search tool from LADS DAC, allows users to preview datasets before downloading. This is an introduction to the View Data tool. I will be explaining some of the basic features of the View Data tool. Let's begin with the basics and see how we can explore the map to search for data. Here, you can pan by moving your cursor around the map. You can zoom by using your thumb and finger to pinch and move into the map if you're on a tablet or touchpad device. If you're using a mouse, you can use your wheel to zoom in or out. Additionally, you can choose whatever timeline you're looking for. You can choose one day, one week, or all the way up to a full month. On my timeline, I'm choosing a whole month beginning on January 1st. You also need to add layers of data. Go to the green Add Layers button. You can click and search by mission, level zero or one data sets, or different disciplines, atmosphere or land. You can also narrow your search to only data sets with images, or you can include all data sets by removing the check mark from the box labeled Show Products with Imagery Only. For this example, I'm going to choose Atmosphere as my discipline, and within that discipline, I'm choosing Water Vapor Products, narrowing my search to the products from Modus Terra as my chosen data sets. Now I have my data here on the right, and you can see that I can hide or reveal my data sets by clicking on the eye icon. I can click the letter I in the circle to get more information about the data sets. I can also change the opacity of the displayed data by clicking on the half full circle icon and sliding the scale to whatever I think is appropriate. I can also add orbit tracks. So since this is a Terra data set, I'm going to add in the Terra orbit tracks for both day and night. And you can see that they correspond to what you see here as the swaths of the data on that image. This is the most basic use of this tool. Now, if there's nothing else that you want to do here, but you want to share the image, you could share using any of these mechanisms, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, or email. Or you can just copy and paste and share that image by pasting it where it is appropriate for you, like in a journal article or other document. You can also take a screenshot, which can include a header, timestamp, or scale bar on your image. And you can download it as a PNG, a JPEG, or a GIF. Now, let's go back to our image. I'm going to remove the orbit tracks and overpass times and go on to overlays. Sometimes it's useful to have different labels on your image. Using the overlay menu, you can add labels to your image. Choosing countries, regions, and roads makes these labels appear on your map. So right here, we've got our countries, regions, and roads that display closer and closer with more detail 
as you zoom in or out, depending on your perspective. I'm going to skip over dynamic backgrounds for now and move on to static backgrounds. Here in static backgrounds, you can choose different background images like the blue marble, which is the default, or a background image of the street and other geographic markers. So if you're looking for a specific place like Goddard Space Flight Center, for example, you can actually zoom in and find what you're looking for. Additionally, you can have topographic maps which can show changes in elevation. Or you could choose light gray, which shows the outlines of the different continents and countries, or dark gray. Depending on what you're trying to display, each option might be better suited depending on the color scale that is displayed. If we go back to the blue marble view, which is a satellite view, you could also use a dynamic view. From a satellite from any of the VIRS or MODIS sensors. Here, we can choose the Modus Terra Corrected Reflectance as an example. And you can change the opacity on that as well. Now let's learn a little bit more about selecting areas of interest. Choosing the select tool down here on the bottom brings up the select tool above. The default is world. So as you can see here, the whole world is selected. I can also choose by country. The different countries display and you can click inside a country for it to be highlighted and selected for your data options. You can also search by tile. I could click on a tile that includes Goddard Space Flight Center as an example. I can search also for different validation sites. For example, this one is the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies up in New York City, otherwise known as GIS. Then I am limiting my data to data from that particular site. I can also create a polygon where I can define an area by creating a perimeter. Finally, I could use classic, in which case it just creates the parameters of a square for the coordinates that you select. Moving on to downloading the da data for the parameters that you've selected. Now that I've defined the area for which I'm interested in downloading data, define the time frame of the data, and define the data product types I'm interested in, 
I change tabs from layers to data search. On data search, I see the products within my timeline and location that are available. I can choose day, night, or the day-night boundary, further refining my target data. Once I check the data product and the types of temporal co coverage, I can click search. It shows that there are 340 records in that file summary that are available for download. If I click on the title for that data product and number of records, I'm brought here to the different file details. Here, I can select all of them by clicking on the box next to name, or I can pick individual data sets by choosing the box next to them individually. I can get the JSON data or the CSV data. The WGET download data is not yet available, but it is coming. I hope that you found this tour of the View Data tool useful. Happy researching.